time. It's war time. Gather the troops, yeah, it's war time. The most high is gonna have mercy on you, black you return back to him. He's by before me. It's war time. We have gods on this earth. We have gods chosen people. The black yeah, is war time. Calling all Jews. Blood in your veins. Yeah. It's the same that was in Christ's veins. You right. say that don't matter? Time me. Yeah. It's our job as the watchmen to warn our people. Wake up from the lies that you're in. We must return as the Israelites. Because that's who we are. You are now tuned in to Wartime Radio Show. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Hey, welcome to WPJM 800 AM. This is Officer Yuanathan with Wartime Radio. And on my left, Officer Kalaya. And on my right, Officer Aitan. And our reader today, Officer Yanashan. Hey, all praises. Today's hot topic is... Is my pastor a false prophet? Uh-oh. <laughs> a whole lot of people are finding out they pass to be lying Uh-oh. on the Bible. <laughs> so we're going to dive into that topic mm. because we always hear, hey, y'all guys can be a false prophet. Mm, we're going to find out what the Bible says. They never ask, is their pastor a false prophet? Right. So they need to get their notebooks, pen and paper, and check this stuff off as we go through it. Yes, get ready you today. Shut your black Christian mouth. Hey, get, get us out uh, Matthew 24 and 4. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. So Jesus is warning us. He said, Don't let no one run game on you. Mm-hmm. Don't let nobody lie to you. Read. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ Uh and shall deceive many. So many going to come in his name saying, I am Christ. In other words, I'm a Christian. Yeah. The Lord said unto me is what they're going to be saying to you. Mm -hmm. And they're going to do what? I am Christ saying, I am Christ and shall deceive many. Oh, so them Christians going to be lying. Mm -hmm. They're going to deceive many. Jump down to verse 24. Verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ uh-huh. and false prophets. And what? And false prophets. So there's going to be false prophets in these last days. Right. And so I don't never see anyone ever trying to find out who the false prophets are. Yeah. Because they ain't really, they're not really looking, bro. They, they ain't looking. They have happily accepted what's been given to them. So guess what? God has watchmen. That's we right. watch. That's we right. look. We examine. And we point out the false prophets. That's right. Finish out the verse. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders. They do that with their science, with their television. Mm -hmm. They show those great wonders. Read. In so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Guess what? We ain't been deceived. Hey, like you said, if... If it were possible. <laughs> if it were possible. They would deceive the very... Letting you know they will not deceive the very elect. So, mm-hmm. in other words, if they believe that the pastor that took off his coat and slung it in front of the <laughs> 10 people in front of the congregation, hit all of them with it, if they believe that they all got hit with the Holy Ghost, they've been deceived? Yo, they've been That's deceived. what the so, Bible oh, okay. said. Oh, okay. What's okay. that pastor name that does that? I can't remember. Ain't he like in Africa or something? It's a it, it, it's pop poppins or something like that. Unbelievable! Uh, it's a couple of them that that's well, like he got that, that magic jacket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him go to the hospital and fan that across people so I they know. can get up out of there. I'm hey, telling you, he wipe out the whole front row with that jacket. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I say hey, these pastors are something else. Hey, you know what? But um, God sent uh, prophets in, in the days of old. Give me uh Jeremiah twenty eight. Uh, verse 8. Because we want to find out what those prophets did in the days of old. So, because uh, these pastors today, they're prophets. So, shouldn't they be doing what the old prophets did? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28 and verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. They prophesied against what? Many countries. Right, because you know why? Because the Israelites were scattered in many countries, put in slavery. Read. 
And against great kingdoms. Against what? Against great kingdoms. America is a great kingdom. Uh Mm -hmm. Shouldn't they be prophesying against this great kingdom? They should be. They should be. But I don't see. They don't want to do that. That's going to mess that money up. Mm. And read. Mm. Of war and of evil Uh and of pestilence. I hear about prosperity. I hear of that's what they prophesying. That right there said of pestilence. You know, like all all of the different dis- diseases and and stuff like that. Like, what about what about COVID? Right. You they don't know? they don't see that as a pestilence. They just, <laughs> <see> that, <laughs> they just see that they see that as a regular old disease, and they don't they don't think that that's of God. You know what I mean? They don't they don't they can't see in these last days and times what's really taking place on the earth. Right. And mm-hmm. if they could see it, they would still not teach it mm-hmm. because it's that's going to point. destroy the money. Let me ask y'all mm-hmm. a question though. Who were these prophets? What was the, it all nations? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, you got to no, no, pull. You got to go to Amos. That's where we going. Yes. Let's find out who he is. Let's see. That's because you know everybody has got all these preachers. They all, they all say they prophets. No, 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 no. We 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 gonna get that. We can't we can't let everybody be deceived and uh, thinking that it's everybody. Let me get that in Amos. Uh, what is it? Two and eleven. Mm-hmm. Three and eleven. No, no, not 2 and 11. Yeah, 2 and 11. I was right. Okay, let's get it. This is the book of Amos, chapter 2 and verse 11. And I raised up of your sons for prophets. Now, here's the people that are going to be prophets. Read. Of your young men for Nazarites. Uh It is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel, saith the Lord. So the only prophets is the children of Israel. That's right. So if it's Esau, Moab, and them. They are not the prophets of God. Muhammad wasn't a prophet. He was an Arabian. <laughs> that learned no. from the prophets. But learned from the prophets and then try to concoct it and change up what they was doing to make itself look like a prophet. And now with people running around following Islam and everything. Hey, but watch this. Gandhi, Gandhi wasn't a prophet? No. Well, that's, that's what Martin Luther King studied up under and that's what he taught. Hey, the doctrine that he taught was wrong. Even exactly. though Martin Luther King was a great man, he did some great things. But the doctrine he taught was wrong. So, was if, wrong. You're, so if you're not an Israelite, you know, a black, Hispanic, and Native American, you cannot be a prophet. Hey, hey, read, read, read. We're gonna let them read it again. That's what the Bible said. We didn't say it. God said it. And I raised up of your sons for prophets and of your young men for Nazarites. Is it not even thus, O ye, o ye children of Israel? Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. Not saith Aton, not saith wartime radio. Saith the Lord. <laughs> hey, hey, jump down to chapter 3, verse 7. Because I know it's a reason why you know. Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Is that what happened to you? Oh, man. <laughs> look, that's how look, you know I'll praise the most high Lord will the spirit stay. Don't, don't take it away from you, man. Dang. Hey, is this, is, is this the reason why like that? Is this the reason why we're finding out what's going on? Hey, that's because that's, he don't reveal the secrets to the prophets. That's exactly what's that's going it. on. Mm. That's exactly what's going on. And see what what our people gotta realize out there is that this this doesn't come by just leisure. This mm-hmm. comes through searching out the truth of the Bible. Give me that in Job real quick. Job chapter 8, verse 8. This is what our people don't want to do. We readily accept the history that's been given to us, information that's been passed down to us from generation to generation without fact-checking or biblically checking the information that's been given to us. But we say we believe this Bible. Well, this is what the Bible says. Read that. Job chapter 8 and verse 8. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age. So God is telling us that we got to do some research. We got to inquire of the former age. Let's find out the former age of who. Read on. And prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. So when we prepare ourselves to the search of our fathers, guess what? That Guess what we find out through the Bible? That our forefathers were the prophets. That our forefathers were the men that were ordained to teach this Bible. It's because of them that we have this Bible today. Jeremiah. Nahum, yeah. Moses, all of these men laid the foundation for what we have today in the scriptures. And we have to go through these scriptures to understand that these are our forefathers and our forefathers are the Israelites. Hey, but you know, you said something. 
You said the men, because uh, I see a lot of famous women prophets out there. You see a lot of no, 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 no. That's how everybody feel it right now. No, 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 no. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. You tell women can't be prophets. Hey, let's find out. Ezekiel chapter thirty-four, verse thirty-one. Hey, yeah, you just you went for the juggler already. <laughs> you need to wait. <laughs> we just we just trying to find out. They just trying to be. find out who the real prophets are. Mm-hmm. That's all you trying to. Find. That's how we trying to do. We, we we eliminating the other nations. <laughs> now we eliminating gender. <clears throat> Bang. Ooh. Read that. Ezekiel, chapter thirty four and verse thirty one. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men. What? Are men. Women. Are men. I need to buy them. Are men. Oh, my goodness. They ain't the men. Why can't the women be the pastors? Why can't they be the prophets? I'm going to tell you straight. They're going to get mad when I say this, but that's what God said. God said be quiet because they talk too much. Mm. That's what the Bible say. I didn't say it. Y'all got to prove that look, to me. Look, look, prove look, that. Look, they're going to tell you, look, we can't follow the Old Testament. Well, let's let's read it in the New for them, Okay. Let's just do that. First Timothy two, and let's just go down to. Let's just start at verse eleven. This is what the Bible say. This is the book of First Timothy, chapter two, and verse eleven. Yep. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. Let her learn in silence with all subjection. So she ain't supposed to be running her mouth. Is that, all, is that how they learn in silence with their mouth closed? That that mean their mouth should be closed. That uh, sexual black Christian mouth. Like the like the like the ad lib just said. <laughs> Read on. <laughs> but I suffer not a woman to teach. Uh, but but he suffer not a meaning he don't allow women to teach. Now this ain't saying you can't teach. Period. Because you do have to teach right. the young women on how to love their husbands and to love their children. But you ain't supposed to be lording over men trying to teach men something. Mm-hmm. Read on. Nor to usurp authority over the man, Read. but to be in silence. But to be in silence. That's that's in the New Testament. We had a sister at camp say this ain't in the Bible. That's what the Bible say. Literally, hmm. a woman at camp. I was with you. Right. We was at camp, and a sister, we read this to a woman pastor. We read this. She said, Timothy's is not a part of the Bible. Come on now, dog. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> hey, she, she didn't like she didn't like 2 Timothy two and sixteen. No, she didn't like that. She didn't like that. Let's get that record. <laughs> so that, but, but that's the New Testament. That quick to say that these things are not in the. Oh, we, not, we don't have to follow the Old Testament no more. But these things are in the New Testament after Christ. Second Timothy chapter three verse sixteen. Second Timothy chapter three and verse sixteen. All scripture is given by the by inspiration of God. Except for Timothy? Yeah, except for Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Look, let the sister tell it. That's what it is. She goes completely against this. <laughs> Dang, that was crazy. Read that again. All scripture is given by inspiration of God uh-huh. and is profitable for doctrine, uh-huh. for reproof, right. for correction. For what? For correction. So you mean... We have to be corrected. Mm-hmm. Right. So it ain't mm-hmm. always going to be a feel-good speech. Right. Because it must be correction. Come, Correction don't feel good. Mm. Correction ain't that feel good. This right here is for correction. So if you're not correcting nobody, what are you doing? Right. If you ain't telling the people to sin that they're in when they're coming inside of your temples, your churches, what good are you doing? Mm-hmm. Giving them the feel-good speech and the prosperity speech and tell them they're going to be blessed, but they go back home in yeah. their sins and continue in their ways. Yeah. We don't finish that thing. Yeah. For instruction in righteousness. For instruction in what? For instruction in righteousness. Now, a lot of them already might think they're righteous. But let's find out what righteous hey, means. Hey, but before, you, before you go there, read the next verse. <laughs> <laughs> that the man of God. Hold up. That what? That the man of God. Mm-hmm. That the man of God may be perfect. Uh-huh. Nobody can be perfect. May be perfect. So we can be perfect. Mm-hmm. Read. Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So, thoroughly furnished to all good works. Right. That thoroughly furnished is going into the keeping of God's commandments, being in the, in the perfect harmony in the keeping of God's commandments. And notice it says that the man of God 
may be perfect. Why? Because he is he sets the example. Right. He sets the righteous example given to him through the order of the Most High God that we read in Corinthians. You right. got Most High God, you got uh, Jesus Christ, you got man, woman, then the children. This man has to be in the likeness of Christ. Right. Right. Mm. So, hey. hey, go ahead. You got something? No, no, no. I was just checking on something, checking on the time. Well, look, we do. well check this out. Give me Hosea 4 and 1. Mm -hmm. Because like we said, today's topic is about the false prophet. And we got to make sure that we know how to recognize a false prophet. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Uh -huh. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Why? Because there is no truth. What? No truth. There's no truth. There's no one keeping the laws. Right. Read nor mercy, uh -huh. nor knowledge of God in the land. If you ain't got knowledge of God in the land, you ain't got knowledge that these people are false prophets. Hey, can we can we get the knowledge? Yeah. It, it go right with what we talking about with right the women as well it. and the men. Touch hmm. on both of them. Let's get that. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. Uh -huh. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So this priest should teach knowledge, read on. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So you, hey, you brothers and sisters out there, y'all got a responsibility yourselves that you must examine these pastors that you're listening to and seek the laws out of their mouth. So if they're not teaching you the laws and you seeking it, you know they false already. Hey, they getting right. they getting their job done easy. They say, shoot, we Dang. just going to tell them right. the laws are done away with. And pass the collection plate around. Shoot, they ain't gonna question us anyway. Let me make money off of them. That's exactly. how they doing. Exactly. When if they even if you even ask the question, well, if the law is done away with, the law of tithing was in the Leviticus. It was in the book of Leviticus. If the law was done away with, why are we still tithing? Why mm. nobody don't ask that hey, question? Look, look, it. We need that bomb right there. Why nobody don't ask that? <laughs> <laughs> It's just, it just it, it, it's common sense. You tithe. That was given hey. to the Levitical priest. Ain't no damn Levitical <laughs> priest in your church. <laughs> right. right. And they be sitting there, man, they pass it two, three, four, five times. Right. They yeah. must got double priests. <laughs> and if you if, if you show us one scripture where tithing was your money, we will shut the show down. All right? Mm. But what you need to do is like Captain, uh, what Captain Zakar said, uh, Give your pastor a head of lettuce. Right. That is the tithe. Hmm. But, you know, we just don't, we don't know the Bible. Though. We just Finish out that verse. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. So the true messenger of God mm -hmm. teaches you what? The laws. The laws. The prosperity. Or laws. Which one? The laws is what the Bible says. The Bible said the laws. And I haven't seen a church yet teach God's laws. Yeah. Did it say she should teach the laws? Mm. <laughs> what that said? Mm -hmm. Just read it from the top. For the priest's Wait lips. A minute, the priest. <laughs> <laughs> Those are men. I just don't get. I just, I just don't see how they don't get it. Like you gotta read the book in proper context. And let them tell it. This is all out of context. Let them tell it. Read it, read it again. For the priest's lips, oh, man. for the priest's lips should keep knowledge, uh -huh. and they should seek the law at his mouth. There her mouth. His mouth. No, her mouth. His mouth. The priests are the men. Read. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. She is. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. So right there, we done got rid of the other nations. Goodness and we got gracious. rid of all women that's behind the pastor, uh, the pulpit teaching. Hey, we got to get one more on these women when you finish. I know you're going to go uh, back to uh, oh, Hosea, go ahead. right? Bring it out. Okay, let's go to Ezekiel 13. Most I got y'all women in the Bible. Y'all women pastors and stuff. Y'all in here. Y'all in here. Y'all just don't read it. And the, and the pastor, the women pastor tell you, don't read the Old Testament because it identifies them to a T. Mm -hmm. Get Ezekiel 13 and uh, 
verse 17. We're going to read down. It's going to be really quick. We're going to read down really fast. All right? Read that. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 13 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Likewise, thou son of man, set thy face against the daughters of thy people. And that's why we talking like this. Because y'all sit up here thinking, oh, y'all getting on these women passes, y'all rub. God said set our face against them. God you, said it. Read. You mean we ain't write that in there? No, 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 no. Oh, no. okay. You mean no. to tell me you are obeying God's word? That's exactly what we doing. Oh, <laughs> read. That's new on this earth. <laughs> read. Which prophesy out of their own heart, uh -huh. and prophesy thou against them. So you women pastors that prophesy out of your own heart, God commands us to prophesy against you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Read. And say, thus saith the Lord God. Uh-huh. Woe to the women that sew pillows to all armholes. So it says destruction to you women that sew these pillows to armholes. Y'all know them big old robes they be wearing? Yeah, with them big old, down loops here. In, big old loops Look, in. look, he even described, describing mm -hmm. what you gonna wear. Line our people, read on. And make handkerchiefs upon the head of every stature to hunt souls. What's the little handkerchief to be sitting up there? <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 y'all look, y'all at church, y'all know good well y'all sitting on Sunday and y'all see y'all auntie and them, your your grandma, your mama and them walk by y'all looking like, what the heck is that on their goddamn head? Y'all know that's how y'all be thinking. God already explained us what they're going to be wearing to hunt souls. Read on. Will ye hunt the souls of my people? Read. And will ye save the souls alive that come unto you? So God is asking y'all a question. Are you going to hunt or save the people? Save the souls of the people. Read. And will ye pollute me among my people for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread? Y'all are hunting for money. This is That's that prosperity y'all looking for. Y'all want food, all the abundance of money and stuff. That's why you hunt the, the people's souls that come unto you. You're deceiving them for money. Read. To slay the souls that should not die. So you will slay the soul that is humbly coming to you, that really, really need help, and you will slay they soul. You will destroy them, read. And to save the souls alive that should not live. But then the ones that are evil and in sin, them are the ones you want to get close and help them out. Mm -hmm. It's the dumbest stuff I ever heard in my life. But that's what y'all do, read. By your lying to my people uh -huh. that hear your lies. But you lie to them because they, they hear you're lying to God's people, the Israelites. They hear your lies. Read. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord let's, God. Let's see what God say and how he feel about it. Behold, I am against your pillows. He's uh -oh. against your pillows, the way you dress and everything else. Read. Wherewith ye there hunt the souls to make them fly. Uh -huh. And I will tear them from your arms. Read. And will let the souls go, uh -huh. even the souls that ye hunt to make them fly. So those souls that you are destroying, that's why the Most High sent us. They're going to come up out of there. Y'all going to lose a whole lot of people because God is going to tear them pillows, all that prosperity, all that money you getting. You're going to be destroyed by that stuff. And God going to wake them people up in those congregations. They're coming up out of there. Mm. That's right. Hey, you know what, though? That eliminated the other nations. They eliminated the women. Yeah. Guess who's left? <laughs> let's see Bring about the men. Let's go to Ezekiel 34, verse 2. Because you just prophesied against the women. Let's see what God say about the men. Yeah, that's why they're running all these little campaigns and trying to say the Israelites, they were evil. They're saying we're a cult they don't and everything else. Because y'all see your people are now asking you questions and you don't got answers. Right. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 34 and verse 2. Son of man, right. prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Do what? Prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. So right now, men, it's your turn. Read. Prophesy and say unto them, thus saith the Lord God unto the shepherds. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that Destru do. Destruction to you shepherds yep. of Israel. Read. Mm -hmm. That do feed themselves. That do what? Do feed themselves. Uh -huh. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? And what should they be feeding them? Because they feeding themselves. Because yeah. uh, somebody asked for a $64 million jet. Somebody yeah. got a $64 yeah. million right. jet. And it'd be the same people that ask, look, look, my bills are due. If I lost my job, we're going to give you $250, hey, brother. Hey, we got a good video <laughs> on them shepherds that feed themselves. Pull up that video on the Prosperity Doctor. Because it's that time that these pastors be put out. Right. Getting rich off the people. 
Let's roll this beautiful bean footage. You can't make this up. You put some up here. Put this anointing on it. I'll put this anointing on it. He I said, "Put some anointing on it." Put, put this anointing on this money, man. Woo! They, they running up there to throw more money. Woo! Get some anointing. You put some up here. As long, my sister, I know you've been reading the Bible, but as long as we say it's laid up, the wicked going to keep it. But God says, "Time for us to tell that money. You don't belong to the wicked. You belong to us." And I want you to get in the right place. Money coming to me up. now. Somebody help me dance up here. Glory to God. Woo! I'm not going for this thing, man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm looking for unexpected income. What he looking for? What unexpected income? Oh, man, Jesus. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> woo, woo. <laughs> Glory! <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Yeah, I'm, 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 I don't know what to say right now. I am. I'm upset. Because the, the laugh that he's giving, he's laughing at the people he's saying. That's how I feel. Are you done with this? Are you done with this? We don't need nobody that's listening to the radio show. Start catching spirits. Stop the video. <laughs> Hey, give, me, give me Micah 3 in the left. Hey, you already know. You already know. We don't want nobody catching spirits thinking this mug is saying he's sitting up here laughing at your behind and you giving them freaking money. Believable. This is the book of Micah, chapter 3 and verse 11. Bring it the heads thereof judge for reward. They do what? Judge for reward. That's a perfect example right there. They up there judging for reward. Read. And the priests thereof teach for hire. They do what? Teach for hire. They teaching to get paid. Yeah. They, and, and they're getting paid off your ignorance because you don't know the word. Man, they have job interviews for these different churches. Of course. Mm. Of course. You ain't getting no job. in the, You're not getting a church unless you understand how to uh, manipulate the scriptures to pull money up out of the congregation. Mm. Read next verse. And the prophets thereof divine for money. They do what? Divine for money. If your name is Creflo Dollar, hmm. get your, your real name. Hey, but get your <laughs> get your dollars. <laughs> Creflo Dollar. He might as well put his hand in your pocket until you come through the door. That's a pimp. Yeah, that's a straight pimp. Bruh. Three. Yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, Is not the Lord among us? Ain't that what they're saying? Hey, this is the house of the Lord. Shoot, that's what he just was doing. That's <laughs> right. what he just did on the video. Hey, he pimp walked through money. I know you radio folks might not can see it, but the man was crip walking through money on the stage. Mm -hmm. Who does that? And the people were throwing more money for him. You know, if that was their rent money, they light bill money. Exactly. They giving them everything they got because they think these men are anointed. Right. These are pimps. These are old pimps pimping a whole congregation for money. Oh, man, this doesn't piss me off. It pisses me off. I don't know about y'all. Yeah, it made me mad. Watching but if you, got a, if you got a preacher out there and he's pushing that prosperity doctrine, understand, read that from the top again. The heads thereof judge for reward, uh -huh. and the priests thereof teach for hire, Read. and the prophets thereof divine for money. Uh -huh. Yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, Is not the Lord among us? None evil can come upon us. Hey, that's what they saying. Hey, that's what Creflo Dollar said. Yeah. If I want a $65 million jet, I might, you think I need a $65 million jet? I might need $100 million to get me a spaceship because I might have to go divinely teach. Somebody on Mars. And you know what the congregation did? They stood up, clapped, and said amen. Y'all are crazy, man. You can't make this stuff. Y'all are crazy, man. Hey, we're going to take a break. 
we go into the beautiful sounds of original royalty. We got something to listen to, because this right here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, we live this camp life. Show up in your hood with this good. Yeah, my camp might this camp life. Camp life. Yeah, we live this camp life. Yeah, it's do it down, down the ride, but it's camp life. This camp life. This camp life. Yeah, we live this camp life. Yeah, we put our lives on the line, but it's camp life. This camp life. This camp life. Yeah, we live this camp life. Yeah, we proper side these sixty five, but it's camp life. This camp life. Squad up, squad up, squad up, squad up, squad up, squad up. I'm telling you straight, we just a messenger. You try to shoot us down with the dark five, then you fail. Did you not know that nothing you do to the prophets of God, no, it won't prevail. Coming down strong and loud on them coons. I never thought we're rising up soon. The other nation posted up with their goons. So what's about to happen next? Stay tuned. With this camp life, camp life, that's right, that's right. With this camp life, camp life, that's right, that's right. With this camp life, yeah, we live this camp life. Show up in your hood with this good, yeah, my camp might this camp life. Camp life, yeah, we live this camp life. Yeah, it's do it down, down the ride, but it's camp life. This camp life, this camp life, yeah, we live this camp life. Yeah, we put our lives on the line, but it's camp life. This camp life, this camp life, yeah, we live this camp life. Yeah, we pop a side, this is the vibe, but it's camp life. This camp life. Oh, you guys, man! What you doing? 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 What you doing?
all praises. Hey, that's them original Bill Street bullies. Right. You know, Already. That's camp. that camp life. Whoa. Hey, come on down to 1823 Greg Street and get you some of this camp life that's in Columbia, right. South Carolina. <laughs> hey, I want to go to uh, Jeremiah uh, chapter 5, verse 26. Because, hey, as we just seen the last video, these pastors are praying, praying on our people. And our people are honestly going to these churches uh, seeking salvation. Because mm -hmm. nobody has the uh, spirit of God like our people. But through these wicked pastors set up by our enemies, they lead our people to destruction. Right. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5 and verse 26. For among my people are found wicked men. It's, it's wicked men out there that's over our congregations out there in these churches. Read. They lay wait uh -huh. as he that setteth snares. They set a trap. They do what? They set a trap. I'm going to tell you straight up. Those churches that you're attending every Sunday, mm -hmm. that's the trap house. Yep. Read. They catch men. They do what? They catch men. They catch men, women, children, generation after generation has been caught up in these traps. Yep. Read. As a cage is full of birds, uh -huh. so are their houses. Full of deceit. It's full of what? Deceit. Hey, nothing but lies are coming out of these churches. That's why you don't know you're an Israelite. That's why you didn't know yet you had to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. That's why you didn't know that Christ was black. That is why that you don't know that this Bible pertains to you and only you. Right. Read. Therefore, are they, therefore, they are become great and waxen rich. They undid what? Become great. And waxing rich. Your T.D. Jakes, your Creflo Dollars. All these men have become great men throughout this planet. And they're rich. Million dollar rich. You know what I'm saying? They got million dollar homes. Why are they congregation is poor and struggling? Right. And, and they, make them, they make them think that that is prosperity. Right. They make them think that this is the life on, the, on, on earth that, that's going to get you ultimate salvation. You can't make that up. Like how... How do you teach to the people that are poor that prosperity is you standing on the stage and you ain't going to never let them get there by taking all their money? What? Mm. Like, it don't make no sense. Like, how do you, like, our people, y'all got, hey, man, we got to wake up as a nation. Because they shouldn't be making a dime off our people. Read the next verse. Verse 28. They are waxing fat. Uh-huh. They shine. Yeah, they riding in big Bentleys. They shining. They on television. They got radio stations. They got jets. They shining. That's our people. Yeah, you know the Bible's talking about us. Right. Read. Yay. They are overpass. They overpass the deeds of the wicked. Hey, they become worse than our enemies. Yeah. They don't even, they don't correct the deeds. Because about all these uh, prosperity preachers, they could put money together and raise our whole nation out of poverty. Mm -hmm. Quick. over uh, Damn near overnight. They judge not the cause, uh -huh. the cause of the fatherless, Read. yet they prosper, and the right of the needy do they not judge. That's why our people stay in the state they're in, yep. because they're not educating the people. They're not teaching the people. Yep. They, they, let, they telling our women to stay single. Come as you are. Yeah, they, woman, thou art loose. Right. What? They're allowing fornication in the churches. They're allowing our men to be whoremongers. They're allowing dope dealers to keep selling dope in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And the sodomites is, is all over the congregation, in the choir, all mm. kind of stuff. Right. Who does that? Read. Shall I not visit these? For Shall I not visit for these things? Say if the Lord... Most high will visit. He is, he is going to visit. Because he, when he say woe, <clears throat> that means destruction. It right. is coming. Yeah. It is coming. Read. Right. Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Read. A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. Read. The prophets prophesy falsely. So did he say some prophets? The prophets prophesy falsely. So let's get this straight. If you were attending church on Sunday, you got white Jesus hanging on the wall. Hey, you're a false prophet. You're a false prophet. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. That's what the Bible says. <clears throat> That's what the Bible say. <laughs> we didn't say it. The Bible said it. Read. And the priests bear rule by their means. Uh-huh. 
and my people love to have it so. That's the problem, right? That's, there. The That's problem. why they don't get checked because y'all love it like that. The people they teaching that sit in the audience and they lie to y'all love it so because they, they don't it. they don't have to change. That way, the way the, the way that this doctrine, the way that the doctrine of the Bible, the truth of this Bible is taught falsely to the congregation, they love it that way because they don't have to change. That's why they say what. Come as you are. And nobody has ever shown you, that ain't, me, you, that ain't that in, the script Bible. in the Bible. Right. They can't find that in the Bible. You <laughs> cannot come to God. How you figure you're going to come to God as you are? Come on now, dog. Mm. You got to change. This whole book is about repentance and change. That's what repentance is. Right. Repentance is to change from your evil ways and to turn your mind into the mind of this book, into the mind of our forefathers, into the mind of God. Y'all got to... Mm -hmm. You gotta come up out of this nonsense. Man. Read that verse again. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means. Uh -huh. And my people love to have it so. Read that part again. And my people love to have it so. I'm gonna tell you straight up, y'all the reason why we in poverty. Y'all the reason why our children are getting killed. Y'all the reason why our men are getting locked up. Because y'all love the wickedness. Hey, Y'all love to yeah, have that's it. That's why so. we got We're going to have to jump back uh, hey. finish that, but we got to go yeah. to 25. But, but did, it, did it say all people? And it said and what? No, uh, it didn't say all people. My people. God said what? My people. If you notice, that is that is a statement made all throughout the Bible. It said my people what? My people love to have it so. You better ask yourself, well, who is God's people? That's mm -hmm. what you better ask yourself. And what will ye do in the end thereof? They're going to die. <laughs> and look, like like officer just said, jump up to 25. Like you said, the reason why we are still getting killed by the police, the reason why our neighborhoods are drug infested, black on black crime, baby mama, baby daddy, whatever, all the evil, the diseases, the STDs, all of that. This is why. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 25. Your iniquities have turned away these things. Your iniquities, your sins have turned away these things. Read. And your sins have withholding good things from you. That's why in our neighborhoods, nothing good is going on. Because the big church where the rich pastor is, is lying to you and you love it so. Mm -hmm. mm. Read, read, read the next verse. Well, that's what he are. That's where all of right. started. Okay. Well, it could, in <laughs> I conjunction, just want to jump up. In <laughs> conjunction with, would you about to pull one? No, go ahead. Oh, in conjunction with that, let me get Jeremiah chapter 10. Yeah. Oh, praise it. In verse, start at verse 20. Jeremiah, hey, Jeremiah goes in mm. on these wicked pastors. Right. Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 20. My tabernacle is spoiled. The house of the Lord is spoiled. Read. And all my cords are broken. All the cords are broken. Read on. My children well, are... Ho hold on. All children. My children. God's children, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Read. My children are gone forth of me. They have... You are gone forth away from the Most High God. Read. And they are not. The, the, you are not. You are not in the assembly of God again. Read. There is none to stretch forth my tent and anymore. There is none to stretch forth the tent during this time that Je Jeremiah is on the earth. Why? Because we've all gone and we, we, we went astray from the Most High God. Mm -hmm. Much like we have today in 2021, you've gone astray. We've been gone astray and led astray since slavery. And we've accepted the doctrines and philosophies that have been pushed down to us from our slave master that has led us away. Read on. And to set up my curtains. So there's none to set up the curtains and beautify the house or the tabernacles of God anymore. Read. For the pastors are become brutish. You pastors are brutish. Mm. You are brutish. You are all about the money. You're all about the Benjamins. You are, you are all about the dollar, the Creflo dollar, mm. the TD snakes. You're all about stealing the people's money and leaving them in sin, having them to die in their sins, and then you're going to pay for that. Read on. And have not sought the Lord. You have not sought the Lord. Read. Therefore, they shall not prosper. You ain't going to prosper. You think the prosperity that you're showing them through your cars, through your lavish life, through the lies that you continue to push. You think that by showing the people that you what you got is prosperity, you're going to prosper. But you're going to be put to death all for leading gonna, God's flock astray. All that going to burn. All of that is going to burn. And you're going to burn right along with it. Read on. And all their flocks shall be scattered. And you have scattered the flock. You don't realize you have scattered the flock of the Most High God, you have scattered his flock 
across all these doctrines that you've been pushing, this new prosperity doctrine. Right. Give $500. You're going to have a car sitting on the corner for you next week, Miss yep. Elizabeth. Miss Elizabeth. Dang. Y'all follow that doctrine. Y'all follow these lies. And ain't but got a best, car yet. You best wake it up. I got one more. Let me get Jeremiah t- chapter 12. Chapter 12 and verse, jump right over to chapter 12 and verse 10. Jeremiah chapter 12 and verse 10. Uh-huh. Many pastors have destroyed my vineyard. You have destroyed the whole vineyard. Christianity is crack. Y'all have destroyed the whole vineyard of the Most High God. Read. They have trodden my portion. The portion is the children of Israel. Mm-hmm. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. In Native Americans, you are the Lord's portion. Read. They have trodden my portion underfoot. Uh huh. They have made my. We just watched the video where they was trotting. <laughs> literally. Literally stomping Damn. on the foot. Stomping the on the money. money. Man, listen, man, you can't make this up. Read on. They have made my pleasant portion a desolate wilderness. You have made it a desolate wilderness. You have destroyed God's people. With this prosperity doctrine and lies that y'all been pushing. And it's high time you men and women sitting in the churches that have these questions. It's high time you wake up, ask the right questions, seek out the Lord like Job 8 and 8 says, and come back to your God-given heritage and worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. That's oh, right. You yeah, that's fire right there. Yeah. Yeah, well, see, look, I don't even know if I could bring the fire like that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All praise to the most high. I'm about to hey, put some water on it. I know. <laughs> hey, man, hey, All hey praise get to that brother that water. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, keep the fire coming off. So, hey, get Isaiah 56 and 10. Let's find out what's going on with y'all All pastors, right. man. Hey, y'all are literally lying our people in the most high calls y'all out for it. Read that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 56 and verse 10. Uh-huh. His watchmen are blind. Y'all are blind. Like y'all, everybody like to say the blind lead the blind. Well, that's you. You pastors out here that's lying, y'all are the blind. And the people following you, y'all are leading them right into a ditch, into destruction. Read on. They are all ignorant. Y'all are all ignorant. Y'all don't know God. Read. They are all dumb dogs. My God does not talk like that. He say, what did he call them? They are all dumb dogs. Because y'all say the dumbest stuff ever. Right. God called them dogs? Dumb dogs. Creflo Dollar said you ain't even got to keep the big Look, look. Ed Man said if you keep the laws, you turn away from the grace of God. That's the Bruh. brother said what? This don't he makes the brother said <laughs> the brother said if you use a cell phone on the Sabbath, you break the Sabbath. You break the Sabbath. He oh said if God. you pick up a fork, you on broke the, the Sabbath. Sabbath. Come on, you can't make this up, man. But what? hey, but our people that were sitting in there, yes, yes, clapping. Oh, y'all dumb right along with them. Read Bruh. on. Bruh. <laughs> they cannot bark. Y'all can't bark because when you see people sins, you won't say it. You don't say nothing. What are you gonna correct? You don't know the laws yourself. You are not going to correct them. And those of you that do know the laws and turn them away, you ain't gonna correct them because you want the money in their pocket. Mm-hmm. Read. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. And you're lazy. Y'all love to slumber because it's easy to give a uh, uh, a motivational speech. Exactly. But you got to work to learn the Bible the proper way. And that work you got to do is keep the commandments. And that you do not want to do. Hey, right right there where you read they cannot bark. That bark, they're supposed to be a dog that barks give warning. Right. But they can't even protect the people. No. They got they got the little poodle in the house that when the burglar come in, <laughs> the burglar is able to just kick the poodle out the way and the poodle don't even bark. They don't <laughs> they don't want to bark. They don't even want to warn they don't even want to warn the people. But go ahead. Read. Yay. They are they are greedy dogs. They want your money. That's why y'all don't bark, is because you want the people's money. Read. Which can never have enough. That's why look, that's why you can ask for a sixty five million dollar uh, uh jet and then turn around and ask for a hundred dollar one. The brother Boy, got an 18... It's just you. The brother got an 18-carat gold toilet seat. Come on now, dog. Huh? That, uh, that just hey, messed if me your, up. If, I, your, if, your church, what? if your church got an ATM, it's because they can never have enough. That's because they can never have enough. <laughs> Bro, that? They, Read on. <laughs> bruh, they gave oh, each yeah. other... They gave each... I believe it was... Not, don't quote me, but I re- remember reading it. One of them pastors, either it was T.D. Jakes gave it to Creflo Dollar... Oh, Creflo Dollar gave it to T.D. Jakes a 18 karat gold toilet. I'm about to look it up. Go ahead. I'm about to look it up. Oh, my God. What did I just read? (laughs) Unbelievable. Read that. Read on. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. Y'all don't understand the Bible. You do not understand. I don't care how many of the cemetery schools. Yes, I said cemetery school. Cemetery. Not your seminary. Cemetery school. Because it's the dead. Y'all are literally in the mind state of death. 
and y'all are killing people. Y'all cannot understand the Bible. Read on. They all look to their own way. Uh -huh. Everyone for his gain from his quarter. Y'all do this for your gain. Y'all do it. Your own, your, everyone of their own way. You got your own mind, not God's mind. Read on. Come ye, say they. Mm -hmm. I will fetch wine. Read. And we will fill ourselves with strong drink. Read. And tomorrow shall be as this day and much more abundant. And that's how all of them come together with the little council of the churches. And they all talk about all the different speeches that they give. Hey, look, look, look let's sit down and have a strong drink together. Hey, tomorrow we're going to pull some more money at these same people and lies. Mm. Unfreaking believable. Oh, well, I want some. <laughs> give me Ezekiel 22 and 26. <laughs> <laughs> I want some. I got to give them. <laughs> hey, because they have violated our people. Unbelievable. We've been in these ghettos. We've been catching all over this earth because our leaders, our priests, our so-called prophets have done nothing but destroy our people. <laughs> we can't even keep blaming the enemy when our people have been our own worst enemy. Right. The people that we look to for guidance, for leadership. Read. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 22 and verse 26. Her priests have violated my law. They did what? They have violated my law. But do you know the punishment for violating God's law and you the priest? Mm. Look, 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 the laws of God is done away with. Right. That's how right. you do it. Yeah. Exactly. Look, that's the dumb dog <laughs> that said, you know what? The laws that God gave you for your wisdom and understanding, he said, nope, that's done away with. I need you dumb. Unbelievable. They need you dumb so they can get your money exactly. so they can prosper. Right. Exactly. Y'all ain't figured that out yet. Free. And have profaned my holy things. Uh -huh. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. They ain't put no difference between the holy and profane. God gave you holy days like the Sabbath. The Sabbath. He gave you the <laughs> they don't Sabbath. Want that. They the don't want that. And you know what? You said, nope, I'm going to go on Sunday. Look, look, feast of dedication. Right. Not, not Christmas. Mm. Feast of Dedication is what right. the Bible says. God gave you Passover. You said you want the 4th of July. Dang. Y'all, they have made no difference between what's holy and profane. Because mm -hmm. none of these holidays has anything to do with us. They all love the devil. Right. Read. They have, neither have they shown difference between the clean and unclean. And that's one reason why our people are dying. At, at young age, because you're sitting around eating pork, shrimp, unclean crab, foods. lobster, unclean foods. When God told you, don't eat it. It's an abomination. Hey, them, and you can't even get into the kingdom eating those foods. Right. Ooh, that's what them That's what them pastors should have been barking about that you read about right. earlier. They don't want to bark about that stuff. They ain't barking, though. They want to mm. go eat the same they thing. They, they have no understanding. They can't bark with, with a pork chop in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> How they gonna bark when they got a pork chopper in hey, their don't mouth? Don't eat the pork. <laughs> don't eat the pork. <laughs> Read. And have hid their eyes from my Sabbath. They did what? Have hid their eyes from my Sabbath. The Sabbath is Saturday. If you wanna know if your pastor is a false prophet, mm -hmm. you walk through them doors on Sunday, bingo. They're your false prophet. Dang. Read. And I am profaned among them. You know why you profaned among them? Y'all done traded the black Messiah for a white one. Exactly. Ooh. Exactly. That's a cut right there. Mm. And right there in their church behind the past is the, is the image of Caesar Bo. And they say that's Jesus. Bruh. Dang. Don't study nothing. Come on. Mm. Mm. But you know what? It's a new day. That was it on now? Yeah, that's it. On now. Hey, go to Matthew 5. We, we got to read this before the show. Go to Matthew 5 and, and 17. We have to read it before the end of this show, because if your pastor is saying this stuff, a hey, that we don't got to keep the laws, well, we finna read what Matt, what Christ Himself said, and you make the decision. You want to keep on following these pastors, telling you you don't have to keep the commandments. You sisters, you can't be wearing pants. Oh no, that's in the Old Testament. You ain't got to do it. We ain't got to keep the Sabbath day. Christ said you got to keep the Sabbath day. God said keep the Sabbath day. Let's see what you got to do. Read Matthew chapter five and verse seventeen. Uh -huh. yeah. Think not that I am come to destroy the law uh -huh. or the prophets. So Christ said, don't think that he came to destroy the laws or what the prophets said. We just been reading Jeremiah like a mug for the last 10, 15 minutes. Read. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. But to fulfill. And the pastor will close the Bible because they say, oh, he fulfilled the law. Yeah, but the it was law so, is done. It's that's fulfilled. That's what they say. 
but Christ fulfilled what was written of him when you read on. But we're going to read down right here, because when you go to John, it tell you what he fulfilled. Read. For verily I say unto you. Surely, Christ says unto us, read. Till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, uh -huh. till all be fulfilled. So Christ just said out of his own mouth, until heaven and earth pass. We all still on earth, because we on the radio show, and y'all listening to the radio show. Everybody's still on earth, and heaven is still there. Heaven ain't going nowhere, and the earth ain't going nowhere. Right. So until all that pass, not one law is done away with. Not one. Not but, one single but, law. But let the, let the pastor never reads this in church. Never. Read on. Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of the least these least commandments read. and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. That pastor ain't getting the kingdom. And if you following after them, you ain't either. That's what they mean, read. But whosoever shall do and teach them. But if you do the commandments and you teach the commandments. The same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. You get the kingdom of heaven. That's that That's simple. Right? It's that simple. It's that simple. It's that simple. But guess what? God loves you. And you know what he did? He sent watchmen. Give me Isaiah 62, verse 6. Oh, praise He ain't going to forsake his people. He got a remedy. He got a remedy for all these problems. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 62 and verse 6. Uh -huh. I have set watchmen upon thy walls. Well, guess what? You got your watchmen right here today. Right. We on the front line. We waging war against our enemy. Read. O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace. We never going to do what? Never hold their peace. We out there 365 days out the year going hard, never holding our peace. Listen, we ain't just on the streets. We also over the airwaves like what we doing right now. It's many radio shows out here daily. We got radio That's shows. Right. We got TV shows. We're in every state. We in across the world. We're every in country. Africa. Every country, yeah. We My putting family. in this work. We got a, look, look, IUIC TV. Go check that out. Go Make check sure that download, out. Like, download that download out. the link. Right. Read. Which shall never hold their peace. We're never going to do what? Never hold their peace. Mm. Day or night. Mm -hmm. Not day or night. 24-7, we doing this. Right. Read. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. Guess what? We're never going to hold our silence. That's right. Nope. You can talk. You can hate. You can threaten. You can shoot. But we're going to be on these airwaves, we're going to be in them streets. We're going to keep preaching from sunup to sundown. That's you, can't, you will not stop this mission. You will That's not. That's right. It, it can't stop. Mm. You done with that verse? Yeah. Okay. Hey, let me get, let me, before we go, let me get one, too. Let, yeah. me, get up, let me get the last uppercut. <laughs> Give me Ezekiel <laughs> oh, chapter praise. 3, verse 17. Bring it up. <laughs> because whether you will accept it or not, we are the watchmen in these last days. Right. We are the men that's going to tell you what thus saith the Lord. Whether you will hear and do or whether you will forbear and not do, you cannot say that you ain't heard these words. Read what you got. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3 and verse 17. Come on. Son of man. Who? Son of man. Son of woman. Son of man. Okay, read. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. So the Lord made the men watchmen to the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's you. Read. Therefore... Hear the word at my mouth. So we have to hear the word at the mouth of God. What is the mouth of God? This Bible, this book that we've been given is the mouth of God. Read. Right. And give them warning from me. Give them what? Give them warning from me. This is what the pastors should be doing when the, they're barking. That's the bark. But they don't want to do that. They Warned. do not want to give a warning from God because they, like the brother said, they got pork chop in their mouth. They can't talk with the pork <laughs> chop in their mouth. <laughs> Read on. When I say unto the wicked... Thou shalt surely die, uh -huh. and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way, or to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. So, we it is our job to warn you of the wickedness that you are in. Right. That is our job. We come to the airwaves to give you this truth, and you can hear it, or you can forbear it. There's more on that, but we're going to go ahead and, 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 and run the show. Hey. This has been Wartime Radio. This is Officer Yuanathan. Officer Kalaya. 
Officer Aitam. Hey, we your frontline soldiers out here waging war. We're located at 1823 Greg Street in Columbia, South Carolina. If you want to hear the truth, you want to hear the words of God, you want to make it into the kingdom, come and visit us every Saturday at 5 o'clock. That's right. Hey, with that, we say shalom. 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 Thank you for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show. Follow us on all social media platforms at IUIC Columbia, South Carolina. Join our congregation every Saturday at 4 p.m. Located at 1823 Greg Street, Columbia, South Carolina. For more information, call us at 803-708-4861 at extension 237. Share our show with your friends and family. And thank you again for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.